Now, I think this year's Nine Lessons and Carols for Godless People have been uh, possibly one of my favourites, if not my favourites, because uh, when they started, they started off as a, a, a rough idea that I had, and I was lucky I got a hodgepodge of, of very good musicians and comedians and, and the like. Um, but I think it's getting a bit more shape. I think what I, I get the feedback from the audience more and more that it, they really do see it as a celebration, which it was always meant to be. It's a celebration, it's not an attack on religion, it's a celebration but a celebration from perhaps a more scientific perspective, celebrating science, celebrating, you know, rational ideas, etc. And I think also the more feedback I get, I'm, I'm happy that we get more religious people because they know it's not an attack on religion. Uh, as, as we know, a lot of religious people do not have a problem with science. They have that non-overlapping magisterium, as Stephen Jay Gould said. Um, and also, I think just these moments, but the addition of chemistry, I think, is very important. By having Andrea Seller on for the first two days, to anything that goes bang, pop, and has the uh, orchestra looking terrified behind a chemist, that to me is, is a magical thing when a giant test tube comes out and we know there will be some form of experiment going on there. Um, also, hula hooping to demonstrate the electron was a great thing, which uh, um, Richard Ranch and his friend Pippa did and that, that was wonderful because it had the two things, I, well many things I suppose that certain some of the younger members of the, the audience would like the uh, male members predominantly which is they were seeing a demonstration of ideas of electrons uh, things they've seen on the periodic table and certain molecules and they were seeing it demonstrated by a woman hula hooping and I think that's the double whammy that we're always looking for in the popularisation of science for uh, 15 year old boys Well, you know, whenever anyone ever says, should there be more of the same next year, I always have to find something new. So next year, we will keep roughly the pattern. I mean, my problem is that I very quickly go, we must change everything, we've done this now. And in fact, there's still a large number of people to get to with it. But I hope the main thing that I always want is I, I want people leaving here feeling reasonably, you know, happy about the fact that they're human. It's very difficult due to the problem of self-consciousness. If we could do an on-stage roulette wheel based Large Hadron Collider with a betting element possibly presented by Matthew Kelly, I think we would then be covering all the areas of popular culture. Working out actually how bizarre the conditions uh, that life could exist under, which is a very difficult thing to understand because, as Carl Sagan said, uh, I'm a carbon chauvinist, uh, you know, that we believe in carbon and water and all these things. So I think any experiments that are continually advancing the ideas of the fact that we are very biased about what we believe life requires. And I think that, to me, is an incredible adventure in, in this kind of, you know, lonely universe. Though equally, the other day, I suddenly thought, it doesn't really matter, we're never going to find, you know, the, sure there is life out there, it doesn't matter, we've just got to try and work out maintaining it here, first of all. I would remove the television. Uh, I think that, uh, obviously, yeah, oh, what about bombs and weapons? Yes, 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 yes. But the television, I think, uh, is ended up being a very insidious way of uh, being as all the cliches from the early days, you know, the chewing gum for the eyes, the fact that it's something without concentration, you know, if you're reading a novel, even if you're listening to the radio, all of those things require your imagination to still function. The television, I think, allows us to drop out of society and be fed very banal information. So that's a lot of different things that go into making a television.